<laughs> Hi, my name is Jacob, and this is Lucas. Today, we are going to rank every banquet TV dinner under the sun. Nobody has ever done this before. Ma, we don't have anything to eat today. Just like every other day, we have nothing to eat. I wish we had something to eat, Mom. Have you ever heard of banquet meals? They're really low calorie, healthy, cheap meals and you have a whole meal just in a box and it's frozen and you can cook it. That's cool, but who are you? I'm the banquet man. I know your mom doesn't cook a lot, but it's okay. My mom told me not to talk to strangers. I'm always in your house. I'm like Jesus. I'm everywhere at all times with everyone. Try banquet. It keeps the whole family happy. Okay, well, can I have one then? Yeah! Try any one you want. I love Salisbury steak. <laughs> Don't forget to try banquet. Well, thank you. Means a lot. No problem. The thing is, is that I've had these before, but I just have had a break from having them. I know, it's been, it's like been a so long. Yeah, there's been like a 10 year period where I haven't had them. I'm so effing hungry. Oh yeah, this actually took 40 minutes to cook all of these banquet TV dinners. Yesterday I went to Walmart to get these and it turns out that these iconic banquet TV dinners aren't the main focus anymore. Now they focus on these mega dinners. So like this was taking up the whole banquet frozen area. There, there was only like one fourth of the section focusing on these ones. Are you kidding? They've branched out. Now people want mega meats. I don't think I've had this one. Is this Thanksgiving? Yeah, it, it's Thanksgiving, but in a frozen package. It has everything, stuffing, taters. We don't it really have peas. Things? That stuff? Oh. We don't really have peas at our Thanksgiving, but maybe that's a thing. I'm more excited for the ones that are coming up, but oh, I'm glad yeah. they get this one out of the way. The turkey on this looks disgusting. Uh, the plastic film really just brings back the memories. I know, it just reminds me of like, oh, there's gross plastic film that probably melts into there. I and know, like, isn't I that like how it leaks into the food. Carcinogens and stuff. Oh, it's fine. What is this in there? It's a little something. Piece of... Pig brain? Yeah, I think it might be a little piece of bacon from the factory felon, which I'm down for. We got a little treat. Sometimes you get a mm. treat in these. Thank you, banquet. By the way, this might be cold because we cooked it a while back. Mm. <laughs> the peas are good. They taste like peas. <laughs> oh, the mashed potatoes. They're just how I remember them. Powder. The turkey's good. I just spit. I mean, <laughs> the turkey's good. Okay, I have a piece of turkey with some stuffing on the bottom. Okay, I don't want to be like that guy. But this is better than turkey at Thanksgiving. I agree with you. I'm not kidding, like, <laughs> it's juicy. And I'm not even trying to be like, I'm trashy. If you have Thanksgiving by yourself, get one of these. Screw everyone else. I'm two people right now. Like, I'm Jacob from the block, but at the same time, I'm Jacob from the country. Like, I know. Like, I picture me, like, walking on the ground, and then, like, I go home, and, like, my wife's like, I'm cooking you a down. <laughs> Did you know TV dinners used to be fancy? Oh, that's what a mom said, right? No, I watched a YouTube video about the history of TV dinners, and it said back in the day it was a fancy, like rich people got TV dinners. They're like, yeah, we don't want to cook, like we're way too busy, we're rich. Like when they were first made, people were so shook, like, we can have a full dinner and just put it in the microwave. This is the best invention ever. Like, think about when that first came out, you would be so excited. Yeah, it's weird how the tables have flipped. Like, if you eat this, people think like, ew. No, it's like, please just home cook. That's what people think nowadays, but. I was born in the wrong era. I can't believe we're ranking these. This is gonna be hard. This, I know, I was thinking that too because they're all just salty, bloated goodness. I know, we're gonna be so just full of sodium after this. We oh, should do a before time. and after face blow. Oh, we should! Okay, let's just both just like smile on the camera. I like how they did include a vegetable though because it feels like I'm gonna be able to shit after this. If there wasn't vegetables, then it's like, yeah, wait, it's is healthy. this gonna be stuck in my colon for the next 50 years? It's really healthy. Okay, can I okay. pick the next one because you picked the first one? Uh, Are we just gonna do an order of what we cooked them? No, you can go. I'm down to try some spaghetti and meatball stuff. And I wanna try this one because it says right here, made from scratch, marinara sauce. Somebody is home making it. It isn't in a factory. They're made from effing scratch. When do you think these TV dinners were made? Like, when were these made in the factory? 2014? I was gonna say the 1970s. Because <laughs> if they're frozen, they could last forever. Oh. 
I love how Banquet isn't only doing American food. They're doing like Italian. You don't have to spend money going on a trip to Italy. This is really important if you've never had a Banquet TV dinner. Like you do lots of times have to mix the flavors in. This one first off is kind of ghosting me out, but. It tastes just like spaghetti I homemade. Why am I standing it so hot? <laughs> no, this is where it's at guys. Like, yes, it is mushy though. We do have to admit it kind of is like baby food. This is just like how it was when I visited Italy. <laughs> but you did? No, I never did. <laughs> I just wore that the cow that died for this was from the 1950s. I can feel its soul going into mine. This might be our hardest ranking video. It's kind of hard to compare this one to the first one because they're like two different things. I know, two how different worlds. How do you worlds. do that? The next one is one that both of us... Does it ever happen to you like metal in your mouth that makes you feel gross? Oh yeah, sometimes when I eat off a fork, it tastes like metal. Is yeah. that happening to you? Uh -huh. Um, the next one is our personal favorite. Well, it's my personal favorite, and I think oh, it's yours, yeah. right? Let's bring this show to the road. Oh my god! The chicken fried steak with mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. It's chicken fried chicken. Oh. 100% natural chicken breast. What else would it be? When pizza places say made with 100% real cheese, it's like, okay, so everything else is made with fake cheese? And then like, remember at McDonald's, they finally announced like, all the chicken and the chicken McNuggets are real. It's like, what? I know, what was happening before this? So this right here, like Jacob said, was a Crookshank favorite. Life hack, mix the corn with the mashed potatoes. Everyone in the Crookshank household did that. I know we're talking about the Crookshank household like it was a school, but that's because we have 86 siblings, so it was kind of like a boarding school. I always loved mm -hmm. how the corn was like so watery. Water isn't white, which like, I like how they're just saying like, oh, we put baby powder. Oh yeah, but I'm not even <laughs> kidding. I remember as a kid lifting that up and sipping it. Oh, yeah. I'm not kidding, because I want to get every little last bit. <laughs> I'm getting everything in my first bite. It's kind of cold, but it's still good. Um, mm. I do just think it isn't as good as I thought. I was just thinking that, I'm not kidding. They used to put more seasoning in the gravy. I was expecting so much. Put a piece of chicken in your mouth. It falls apart like it's a brownie. Like there's nothing in it, it just falls apart. This isn't made with 100% chicken. What? I'm guessing it's because of Big Pharma. Probably. Banquet headquarters, if you're watching, like what did you change in the formula between 2004 to now? Oh yeah. I wanna know. Up those people saying like, bring back the um the thing from Taco Bell, like the potato vegan things. Bring back the old formula of the banquet chicken fried steak. I know, I'm just out of community on the internet for this. You We're should. gonna go around the Midwest Bible Belt. We're going to door to door to just help help this out. Meet us in the Bible Belt. That was the first um disappointing thing that happened so far. Let's try the orange chicken. It's actually sweet and sour chicken. I've never had this one. I haven't either. They're even trying Chinese food. So I don't know, I don't have high expectations for it because frozen Chinese food, it always kind of sucks. Why is it so cold? <laughs> Why do I like everything? This tastes like Panda Express. I'm not even kidding. How did he's convinced that I'm just a ground hog? <laughs> it's like genuinely good. And they actually have like vegetables and shit. Mm -hmm. It's not like some like paleo caveman type shit. I always have rice for lunch. I think next week I'm gonna buy these, throw out the chicken and just eat the rice and add it to my eggs. You should. Doesn't part of you kind of think it's a little too sweet though? Like kind of like oh, a yeah. meat? <laughs> I was thinking that like some of the syrup parts are like, it is very like, ooh, is this dessert? But then you eat chicken. Did they make this in the IHOP fashion? I never get the sour and sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, mm -hmm. what is the sour? All I taste is sweetness. That's just a clickbait title for the product. Now, I was going to save this one for last, but let's just go into it. This one is the one none of us have had. The oh. mega... This is for like, um, the new kids on the block. Yeah, like the banquet marketing team, they got some millennials, maybe a few Gen Zers in there. And they said, you guys, how can we make this better? And they suggested whatever this is. I don't really wanna eat this. I don't know, it just doesn't hit. I don't know if I'm just trying to rebel against the new items, but like, it just, why is it so stuck? Okay, I'm just gonna take a bite of Wait, you're gonna give me the drumstick? Okay. Yeah, you can have it. I mean, it is good, I guess. I do wish I had a crisp, but you can never get a crisp in the microwave. Mmm. Bitch. The photo, though, <laughs> it ain't like that. This is actually a different type of mashed potato. It has, like, chives in it. Tasty exactly the same as the old one. Why is my chicken just owl skin? Like, there's no chicken in it, I swear. <laughs> 
They know L, anyone wants is the skin. Just like that Trisha Paytas video. Great texture. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna poop this out. It's gonna be in my colon for the next 50 years. Banquet, get it, get on it. Like, stop with the bullshit. For real. I guess I'll try Salisbury steak next. Oh yeah, we only have two more left. This says it's made with real cream. Every single one they have to clarify, like, just so you know this is real. It's like, did they get sued for having everything fake or something? And this is the first one we're trying, and I think the only one with a dessert. It has some apple crisp. Just looks like juice, but. Yeah, it's literally just juice and maybe, let's see, one, two, four slices, the tiniest slivers of an apple. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I think I'm gonna have it. Yeah, I feel like I have to just know what it is. It's canned apple. Pie. Yeah. I remember I never liked the ones with the dessert because there was another one that had a brownie. And the brownie, every time in the microwave, it gets so crusted and burnt. Oh, and it burnt to the edges. Yes, that was never good. I never ate the Salisbury steak. I've literally never had it. Yeah, I don't even really know what Salisbury steak is. Nobody knows. It's you know right. someone in the comments is gonna say, your size is so dumb. I live in Salisbury, it's like, I'm sorry. It's cool, but I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like the texture. <laughs> it literally has the texture of pudding. Even if this one was the first one, I wouldn't like it. Now we're going into the last one. This one I'm personally most excited about for, besides the one that we used to love as kids. This one's a backyard barbecue. A rib patty with creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and it's made with real cream again. It's basically a McRib. <laughs> it's cool how they make fake bones. I don't know how to do it. They just mush it all and then like put it like in a little stencil. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. Mush out this fake meat shit. I mean, it doesn't taste like actual ribs. No, not at all. So with stuff like this, did they just make up their own flavor? Because I've never had this flavor before. Never. It's so unique. It is good. I do feel kind of bad because I feel like the more you eat, the grosser they get. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, they're more cold. They're just, everything is Like, just gross. do a flashback to the first one we ate. We were so in love. Like, the turkey's good. I just spit every little bit. The turkey's good. I don't want to be, like, that guy. But this is better than turkey at Thanksgiving. It's like the first year of a marriage, and then it just all goes downhill, you know? But also, I'm kind of like, we're married for you, so, like, can we start swinging? It's like, when can we make it an open relationship? That's the vibe of this one. Whether you want it or not, we're making it open. Yeah, either you agree to open or I cheat on you behind your back. Yeah. Okay, we've tried all of them. I feel like we were like actually hungry, so we just munched on them. I know, I'm full now. So I know. if you ever want to have a lunch, have how many do we have? Um, seven. Eat seven, <laughs> and you'll feel um full after. You have to have a carbonated carbonated beverage though to like to let out like the chemicals. You gotta neutralize the pH in your mouth. Let's drink Subway. Oh, I'm. No, that's great to yeah, That's what I was thinking. I'm yeah. like, I feel like we kind of have the same opinions. Yeah. For me, the ones that are going in worst, Salisbury steak. That was bad. This was honestly my worst, but what are you thinking? Um, let's see. This was also kind of down there. Like the chicken was so soggy and it didn't hit as hard as it used to. This should be last, this second. Yeah. Last. Would third last be this lucky? I'm thinking ribs. Oh, yeah. Ham. Or turkey. That, we loved that that's one. That's true, that was so good. Yeah, I'm thinking either a chicken bite steak or a bobby, backyard barbecue. For me, this one was grosser. Okay, let's see that one. Oh, okay. And then backyard barbecue is okay, next. Okay, second row. Sorry if like this is offending anyone, by the way. I know people are really passionate about like where they rank these. Oh yeah, my intention with these videos are just like to spread love and happiness. I don't want to cause violence. Yeah, like please, like if your blood's boiling, like it's okay, we have different opinions, you know? These ones are the three best. Yeah, these were, like if you're hitting the grocery store, pick these up. I'm gonna go with sweet and sour chicken just because I probably no. would only have that one once a Yeah, week. this is more for like special type of night. Like these are spaghetti and that, like mostly spaghetti. Like. Oh, I feel like this is like first date with someone. Like yeah. I'm gonna cook them. Trying this. to impress them being like, oh yeah, my palate, like I like other um, country's foods. Oh yeah, I don't only like burgers and hot Yeah. Dogs. I'm gonna say, I'd say this, is, this is the best. Yeah, which is so surprising to me. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I thought the best was gonna be chicken fried steak. And then this was, yeah, second. But in reality, I feel like it did get a little bit of special treatment because it was the first one. Even though we had such good things to say about it, like, it wasn't that good, you know? Part of me thinks that if this one was last, you might have been like, this is disgusting. I know. <laughs> so the world may never know what our true emotions are. Yeah. Is the scary thing. But yeah. Oh, um, should we do a bloat check? Oh, let's do it. Bloat check. <laughs> 
I don't my face, but like I do just feel just like more just gross. Oh yeah, like I feel a little bit low energy, not low energy, but just a little bit, you know, a little bit low energy. Yeah, it's like a burp or a barf, I can't tell. Okay, um, this is our ranking. If you want to do this, you can. I feel like no one is going to do this, but if you want to, you can put your rankings. In I hope comments. one of you guys does it. Um, subscribe to both of us. Thanks for watching and, um, be nice about banquet. Don't be too mean. Goodbye, Zs. Bye!